What is the worst thing that has happened at a high school reunion party that you attended? My sister, my, now, husband and I were all in the same graduating class. Plus, my husband's best friend. Best friend's name is something like John Smith. Very common. He was very popular in HS. Super nice guy. Stood out in a crowd if you didn't know him you certainly knew of him. Even in a massive school. So anyway, the 20 year reunion rolls around. My sister is the only one who wanted to go. She called right after. Very upset. Apparently there was a huge memorial wall for John Smith. Who had just died. None of us knew. Awful. My husband was like. Huh. But we just saw him. Called him up and was like hey dude. Are you dead? No. Not dead. Surprised. But not dead. Anyway it turned out the much less popular rather John Smith was the one who died. They made a lovely memorial for the wrong guy, who was forgotten totally. We still run into people to this day who see him and are like hey, aren't you supposed to be dead? Did anyone else get a little sad thinking about which John Smith you would be? Some girl confessed to cheating on her high school sweetheart, thinking enough time had passed it wouldn't bother him. She thought wrong. Someone I knew from school tried to arrange an unofficial reunion as the school weren't going to do one. He was socially inept so would say and do odd things which people picked up on a lot, but his heart was always in the right place. He went a lot of effort but very few people responded at all. Those that did mostly made snide comments about the event behind their back, like dissing the location etc. Some made fun of him personally too as he was doing some admittedly odd, odd organizing. Then close to the event he cancels and blows up sending everyone a justified message about how they can all go suck eggs and he was just trying to do something nice and wanted to catch up with people that was received with more snide remarks too he died unexpectedly just a few months later that's really sad people can be pieces of sh sometimes one guy had made not one but two fortunes and had a net worth of well over 100 million dollars by our 20th reunion high speed modem patents in the late 1980s Early investor in broadband. Right place at the right time. He'd already retired. On our classmate update bulletin he listed his occupation as unemployed and unemployable as a bit of a gag. Some of the well-meaning but clueless types sought him out to offer encouragement and tips on how to find work. I've met two billionaires through work. One does work, and the other happily. Oh so happily. Lives the life most of us only dream of. He's a super nice guy and mentioned he might go back to work after his kids are grown. He says he's lucky enough to be home with them. Didn't happen to me. But I had this friend who got someone pregnant back in the day and she kept the kid. They've both been great about it. He helps financially but that was the extent of his contribution. She married soon out of high school and met a great guy who has been the de facto dad. Either way, it's a day bring your kids if you have them events and someone let slip that my friend is that kid's real dad, and the kid heard it and it was a refine show. Everyone was trying to figure out who said that, and how could someone spill that secret, etc. In the end my friend pretended he was shocked, and laughed it off as a joke, which honestly I front of the kid was probably a good move. It wasn't really bad, just odd. A guy came with full kiss style makeup on white face, black shapes around his eyes and black lips. We were too awkward and polite to mention it, so everyone just chatted with him as though it was completely normal to turn up like that. Someone told me, you are not a failure, be yourself. And so when I went and proudly told them what I was doing these days, working a $9.25 per hour job, going back to school, having gotten life together in a rehab and back on track. I was proud. They all pitied me and one dude tried to give me money. It made me feel bad about my current progress. I hate people. The biggest thing I've learned is to never compare yourself to other people. I was an A and B student in high school. And I had very good grades in college. But I'm currently working in a grocery store making $14.50 an hour. I would have never thought that I would be working in a grocery store post college. But here I am. Not so much at but before. 10 year reunion for my largest school. 500 graduates per year. The plan was for the reunion to take place over Thanksgiving weekend. To help pay for the expense. Raffle tickets were sent out to the entire class to sell. The reunion didn't happen. Graduated in 2008 and not a single word about any reunion. It's been a decade since I finished school. 
I see an old classmate sometimes when he does maintenance work in my apartment block. About a year ago he asked if I was going to the reunion organized by some of our classmates. I said no because I couldn't think of anything worse and also hadn't been invited. Apparently they organized it over Facebook which I don't have. When I next saw him 6 months later I asked how the reunion was and he exasperatedly explained that it had been a real show. The mean girls had started planning it together. Fell out and then started each planning their own. So there was about 4 shy tiny awkward parties and everyone was confused. The people who were supposed to plan our high school reunion dropped the ball. So I figured it wouldn't happen. But then this other dude from our high school stepped up to plan it. He was in a graduate program and also working part time at a banquet hall. And he said that his boss would give us the banquet hall space for free. It was a really nice gesture. And he seemed really into it. He had been miserable in high school. Grumpy. Sullen. Unpleasant. Mean to other people. He came out in college. So maybe the weight of having to keep it a secret was part of why he was so unpleasant. Maybe he'd be more fun now. I was working a job and had no savings at the time. So I was neither interested in having my former classmates pity me nor was I gunning to shell out a lot of money to attend. Plus my shtyx might be there and that didn't feel worth it. The organizer made a Facebook event and asked people to Venmo him the cost of admission prior to attending. He wanted something like $15.20 a head. I can't remember. Anyway, it didn't really feel worth paying for. Maybe if there would be some drinks included or something, I would go for an hour. I sent him a private message asking what the admissions ticket covered food, drinks, the space was free. After all, he posted publicly on the Facebook page that if the cost of admission was too steep, message me and we can work out some financial aid. Uh, what? I then publicly posted, asking what the admission cost covered. No response. Other people asked too. He said it would go towards having a bartender and server dedicated to the event space, as well as towards food. Okay. Fair. Folks. He was the server. My friend showed up having not yet paid him, and he barred her entry. The people who had paid the admission cost showed up to an empty banquet hall, were given a menu by their former classmate, and told to order their own food and drink from him. He pocketed the admission ticket money as his fee. After an hour, he brought out one. One. Grocery store sheet cake for 75 people to share. That was it. At my 10 year reunion, the organizers were doing the thing where they give awards for the person who came the farthest to attend, the person with the most kids, etc. The award came up for who had the oldest kid, and people started shouting out their kids ages. When it quieted down, this shy girl near the front said in a normal voice, 11 and then we all realized why we had stopped seeing Heather right before graduation. The Heather for my graduating class got pregnant in 8th grade. None of us believed her. It was really awkward when she had her baby. My therapist encouraged me to go to my 10 year. Which, in retrospect, was probably a play for job security. My 10 year reunion killed itself before it happened. Turns out our class president, traditionally in charge of organizing, took a hard turn into a footloose character after high school. Highlights of her event planning include, no alcohol allowed, not even BYOB, a few classmates in a reasonably successful band offered to play for free. She was adamant there would be no music or dancing, plus ones were to be houses only. Two guys happily told her they'd bring their husbands, and she kicked them both from the Facebook page. The venue was the high school soccer field, in Iowa, in August. We were welcome to bring our own chairs a few people offered to bring bean bags and bocce and similar games. She said no, because it would make the reunion too much like tailgating. Suggested entertainment was a guided tour of the school, which had undergone zero change since we graduated. Catering was from Hy-Vee, which is a grocery store. Their food is actually okay, but tickets were $60. It was ultimately cancelled because out of our class of 300, less than 10 people bought tickets. We'd been there less than an hour, having a great time reconnecting. Suddenly an old friend approached and said, Is that your wife over there? She's pretty hammered and as we watched, she tripped and fell face first. Full body crash onto a 12 top table where many of my old classmates were sitting. The table broke, food and drinks flew everywhere. I walked over. Scooped her up and half carried half walked her out the door. She took Xanax before going. 
unbeknownst to me, and was an alcoholic who started slamming drinks as soon as she got there, so, good times. At my 20 year reunion 2 decades after high school 2 guys got arrested for fist fighting on the sidewalk outside the bar we went to Friday night. Why were they fighting? One of the guys slept with the other guy's girlfriend in high school, and drunkenly brought up the 20 years ago fling. Neither of them married her, or even dated her after high school. Those idiots got charges 20 years later for her, though. I wasn't even invited to the high school reunion. You're probably better off anyway. I didn't go to my 10 year but my entire friend group did and they all called me asking where I was. While on the phone with one of them, he goes oh sh, Brittany is here. Brittany was a train wreck in high school and apparently hadn't changed in 10 years. She proceeded to get trashed, get in a fight with a waitress and did drugs in the bathroom. Police picked her up that night after she was found her passed out in the McDonald's bathroom. The high school I went to had a really big gang problem. A great many people didn't attend due to being in prison. Some of those who were in gangs in high school had worked their way through the ranks. One in particular was pretty high up. He decided to show up, it was generally peaceful. Until somebody decided to stick him with a knife. Then all hell broke loose. The dude that got shanked was a colossal later me through all of high school. And now he's bleeding profusely from multiple stab wounds. Being an off duty medic. I did what I do, half expecting him to bleed out on the gym floor. He didn't remember me. There wasn't that movie moment between us. I doubt he even recognized me. I just kept plugging holes and thinking I shouldn't have worn my nice shoes. Cops and M's arrived. Few people got arrested. He survived. I ended up tossing my favorite dress shoes and a really nice pair of pants because they were too blood soaked to rescue. Someone had an epileptic seizure and we had to call an ambulance. They were okay but the party ended very early. Not mine, but my husband's. 10 year anniversary for high school graduates. The whole thing was really just sloppily slapped together and it was pretty clear the class was not interested in getting together. The gathering place kept changing every couple weeks. This was updated via Facebook group BTW. At first, it was renting a place and getting food catered and whatnot. Except it's pretty typical in my town for most people not to go on to be successful by any means. So asking mostly unemployed or minimum wage workers to cough up I think $200 to attend just didn't work out. Venues kept downgrading to accommodate until they got down to having a bonfire out by the lake. BYOB. No fee. Just come hang out for like, an hour or something. Throughout the fiasco of finding a venue. A majority of the class declined going, some had to change status. There was a good handful still marked as going, but with everything changing and people obviously starting to tune out midway through, a lot of people forgot to change their status of going to not going. Two people showed up. That was it. One was my brother, who had nothing better to do anyway. Other guy that sort of helped put the crap shout together showed up. The gal that set the whole thing up was pretty mad about it and the rando dude that helped posted a long rant on the Facebook about how awful people were and how they should have appreciated the efforts it took just to hold the pathetic gathering. My husband had me sit and flip through the page after everything was said and done. It was pretty obvious the gal was in serious denial the entire time. Despite it being pretty clear nobody wanted anything to do with the event, I laughed at the rant. Then honestly forgot about it until I saw this thread. At the after party, the one guy getting drunk enough to think it was a great time place to discuss race relations with one of our black classmates. Well, not so much discuss as randomly impose a topic. A cringe nearly killed us all. My 50th is scheduled for October. All this is inspiring me to go just to see what happens. I hope I can get across the country by then. I skipped all the early ones. Just did my 35th a few months ago. Once you're as old as we are. Most of the bullshit posturing and status seeking is over and people just want to get drunk and hang out. I was not a huge fan of high school, and still had a pretty good time. 5 year reunion 1 guy, always kind of a marginal figure in HS, but a nice person. After some sort of discussion, got his paycheck out and got loud saying now do you think I'm a loser? Don't believe how much I make? Check this out of course. He just made things worse. And everyone was laughing at him. I mean he had his paycheck on him. Haven't seen him since. My husband invited the entire party to our home. 
The reunion was being held at a place you know, built to hold parties. Well the majority of the people that were invited came so we had 100 plus crammed into a 2500 square foot house and a bunch of them decided to jump into our pool which was ice cold. I was not pleased with my husband. Went to my high school reunion, I honestly don't know why I did. The friends I kept in touch with well, I kept in touch with, but one friend managed to convince me otherwise and so I went. The reunion wasn't bad. It was mostly people trying their best to one-up each other in their bid to look successful. I sat down at a table next to my friend where I was actually enjoying my time catching up with long forgotten acquaintances. During the reunion, there were two people who stood out the most. There was this chick that I barely recognized. My friend and I kept asking each other if she was in our graduating class or a spouse of one. Found out later that she spent close to $80,000 for cosmetic surgery. Hence, being an identifiable, she was so proud of herself that nobody was able to recognize her. Seriously, she could have been a candidate on Botched but who was I to pop her bubble? The other was a guy who was so snooty back in high school. We're talking the cliche if your address wasn't within a certain neighborhood. You weren't good enough to acknowledge kind of snobbery. Well, he arrived late for the dinner portion and all the seats at his old friend's table were already taken. So he sullenly sat down with the likes of us. Pikes. Having to sit with people you look down on all your teenage life. The poor man. So I took pity on him because most of the people at the table probably remembered his attitude as well and ignored him. I started asking him questions of how he's fed since graduation, etc. This was our conversation while the DJ was blasting music and others were yelling over the din to be heard within their own chats. Me. So what are you doing now? Snob. The name of guy was changed to protect the innocent. Snob, I work at Smith. Smith Smith attorney law firm. Not a real company but you get the gist. Me, that's impressive. Are you a lawyer? Studying to be a lawyer? Snob, no. I'm working on it. Me, oh, articling at your law firm? Snob, no. Me, you work at Smith. Smith Smith. So what exactly is it that you do? Movie moment. I kid you not. The DJ cut the music so that the MC could make the announcement that dinner was to be served shortly. But before that happened, Snob got frustrated with all my questions and stated loudly into the unexpected silence. I'm a mail room clerk. Everyone stared and hate to say this. Accidental justice was served. Snob was taken down a peg or two by his own hands. My class never got to the reunion part. Our class president was MIA. When they tried to plan our 5 year reunion on Facebook, it evolved into people fighting over the venue and whether or not kids were allowed. Half the people wanted to get trashed and get away from their kids if they had any, the other half wanted a dry reunion in a local park with kids allowed. Our class also had no money because they spent it on stupid crap senior year, so people argued over whether it would be catered or a potluck and how much they would collect from everyone if it was the former. 